The Testament of Job The Book of the Words of Job, the one called Jobab Now on the day when, having fallen ill, he began to settle his affairs, he called his seven sons and his three daughters, whose names are Tersi, Koros, Hayan, Nike, Foros, Fife, Furan, Himera, Cassia, and Amathias, Horn. And when he had called his children, he said, Gather round, my children, gather round me, so that I may show you the things which the Lord did with me, and all the things which have happened to me. I am your father Job, fully engaged in endurance, but you are chosen an honor, an honored race from the seed of Jacob, the father of your mother, for I am from the sons of Esau, the brother of Jacob, of whom is your mother Dinah, from whom I begot you. My former wife died with the other ten children in a bitter death. So hear me, my children, and I will show you the things which have befallen me. Now I used to be Jobab before the Lord named me Job. When I was called Jobab, I lived quite near a venerated idol's temple. As I constantly saw whole burnt offerings being offered up there, I began reasoning within myself, saying, Is this really the God who made heaven and earth, the sea too, and our very selves? How shall I know? One night as I was in bed, a loud voice came to me in a very bright light, saying, Jobab, Jobab, and I said, Yes, here I am. And he said, Arise, and I will show you who this is whom you wish to know, this one whose whole burnt offerings they bring and whose drink offerings they pour is not God. Rather, his is the power of the devil, by whom human nature is deceived. When I heard these things, I fell on my bed, worshipping and saying, My Lord, who came for the salvation of my soul, I beg you, if this is indeed the place of Satan by whom men are deceived, grant me authority to go and purge his place, so that, that I may put an end to the drink offerings being poured for him. Who is there to forbid me, since I rule this region? The light answered me and said, You shall be able to purge this place, but I am going to show you all the things which the Lord charged me to tell you. And I said, Whatever he has charged me, his servant, I will hear and do. Again he said, Thus says the Lord, If you attempt to purge the place of, the, of Satan, he will rise up against you with wrath for battle, but he will be unable to bring death upon you. He will bring on you many plagues. He will take away for himself your goods. He will carry off your children. But if you are patient, I will make your name renowned in all generations of the earth till the consummation of the age, and I will return you again to your goods. It will be repaid to you doubly, so you may know that the Lord is impartial, rendering good things to each one who obeys, and you shall be raised up in the res resurrection, for you will be like a sparring athlete, both enduring pains and winning the crown. Then will you know that the Lord is just, true, and strong, giving strength to his elect ones. And I, my little children, replied to him, Till death I will endure, I will not step back at all. After I had been sealed by the angel when he left me, my little children, then having arisen the next night, I took fifty youths with me, struck off for the temple of the idol, and leveled it to the ground. And so I withdrew into my house, having ordered the doors to be secured. Listen, little children, and marvel. For as soon as I entered into my house and secured my doors, I charged my doormen thus, If anyone should seek me today, give no report, but say, He has no time, for he is inside concerned with an urgent matter. So while I was inside, Satan knocked at the door, having disguised himself as a beggar, and he said to the doormate, Tell Job I wish to meet with him. When the doormate came and told me these things, she heard me say to report that I had no time just now. When he heard that, Satan departed and put a yoke on his shoulders, and when he arrived he spoke to the doormaid, saying, Say to Job, Give me a loaf of bread from your hand so I may eat. So I gave a burnt loaf of bread to the girl to give to him, and said to him, Expect to eat my loaves no longer, for you are estranged from me. Then the door maid, ashamed to give him the burnt and ashen loaf of bread, for she did not know he was Satan, took the good loaf of her own and gave it to him. And when he had received it, he knew what had occurred. He said to the girl, 
Off with you, evil servant. Bring the loaf of bread given you to be given to me. The girl wept with deep grief, saying, Truly, you well say I am an evil servant, for if I were not, I would have done just as it was assigned to me by my master. And when she returned, she brought him the loaf of bread that was burnt, saying to him, Thus says my Lord, You shall no longer eat my loaves at all, for I have been estranged from you, yet I have given you this loaf of bread in order that I may not be accused of providing nothing to a begging enemy. When he heard these things, Satan sent the girl back to me, saying, As this loaf of bread is wholly burnt, so shall I do to your body also, for within the hour I will depart and devastate you. And I replied to him, Do what you will, for if you intend to bring anything on me, I am prepared to undergo whatever you inflict. After he withdrew from me, when he had gone out from under the firmament, he implored the Lord that he might receive authority over my goods. And then, when he had received the authority, he came back and took away all my wealth. So listen, for I will show you all the things which have befallen me, my losses. For I used to have 130,000 sheep. Of them I designated 7,000 to be sheared for the clothing of orphans and widows, the poor and the helpless. And I had a pack of 80 dogs guarding my flocks. I also had 200 other dogs guarding the house, and I used to have 9,000 camels. From them I chose 3,000 to work in every city. After I loaded them with good things, I sent them away into the cities and villages, charging them to go and distribute to the helpless, to the destitute, and to all the widows. And I used to have 140,000 grazing she-asses. From these I marked off 500, and gave a standing order for their offspring to be sold and given to the poor and needy. From all regions people began coming to me for a meeting. The four doors of my house stood open, and I, and I gave a standing order to my house servants that these doors should stand open. Having this in view, possibly some would come asking alms, and, because they might see me sitting at the door, would turn back ashamed, getting nothing. Instead, whenever they would see me sitting at one door, they could leave through another and take as much as they needed. And I also established in my house thirty tables spread at all hours, for strangers only. I used to maintain twelve other tables set for the widows. When any stranger approached to ask alms, he was required to be fed at my table before he would receive his need. Neither did I allow anyone to go out of my door with an empty pocket. I used to have 3,500 yoke of oxen, and I chose from them 500 yoke and designated them for plowing, and when they, what they could do in any field of those who would use them, and I marked off their produce for the poor, for their table. I also used to have 50 bakeries from which I arranged for the ministry of the table for the poor. There were also certain strangers who saw my eagerness, and they too desired to assist in this service. And there were still others, at the time, without resources and unstable to invest a thing, who came and entreated me, saying, We beg you, may we also enlarge in his service, engage in his service. We own nothing, however. Show mercy on us and lend us money, so we may leave for distant cities on business and be able to do the poor a service, and afterward we shall repay you what is yours. When I heard these things, I would rejoice, that they would take anything at all from me for the care of the poor, and receiving their note eagerly, I would give them as much as they wished, and taking no security from them except a written note, so they would go out at my expense. Sometimes they would succeed in business and give to the poor, but at other times they would be robbed, and they would come and entreat me, saying, We beg you, be patient with us. Let us find how we might be able to repay you. Without delay, I would bring before them the note and read it, granting cancellation, as the crowning feature, and saying, Since I trusted you for the benefit of the poor, I will take nothing back from you, nor would I take anything from my debtor. On occasion, a man, cheerful at heart, would come to me, saying, I am not wealthy enough to help the destitute, yet I wish to serve the poor today at your table. When it was agreed, he would serve and eat. At, e at evening... As he was about to leave for home, he would be compelled to take wages from me, as I would say, I know you are a working man counting on and looking for your wages. You must accept. 
nor did I allow the wage earner's pay to remain at home with me in my house. Those who milked the cows grew weary, since milk flowed in the mountains, butter spread over my roads. From its abundance my herds bedded down in the rocks and mountains because of the births. So the mountains were washed over with milk and became as congealed butter. And my servants, who prepared the meals for the widows and the poor, grew tired and would curse me in contempt, saying, Who will give us some of his meat cuts to be satisfied? Nevertheless, I was quite kind. And I used to have six psalms and a ten-stringed lyre. I would rouse myself daily after the feeding of the widows, take the lyre and play for them. And they would chant hymns, and with the psaltery I would remind them of God so that they might glorify the Lord. If my maidservants ever began murmuring, I would take up the psaltery and strum as payment in return, and thus I would make them stop murmuring in contempt. After the ministry of the service, my children daily took their supper. They went in to their older brother to dine with him, taking along with them their three sisters also. The urgent matters were left with the maidservants, since my sons also sat at the table with the male slaves who served. I therefore eagerly would offer up sacrifices on their behalf according to their number, three hundred doves, fifty goats' kids, and twelve sheep. I issued a standing order for all that remained after the rites to be furnished to the poor, and I would say to them, Take these things remaining after the rites, so that you might pray on behalf of my children. Possibly my sons may have sinned before the Lord through boasting by saying with disdain, We are sons of this rich man, and these goods are ours. Why then do we also serve? For pride is an abomination before God. And again I offered up a select calf on the altar of God, lest my sons may have evil, may have thought evil things in their heart toward God. As I was doing these things during the seven years after the angel had made the disclosure to me, then Satan, when he had received the authority, came down unmercifully and tortured se torched seven thousand sheep, which had been designated for the clothing of the widows, the three thousand camels and the five hundred she-asses, and the five hundred yoke of oxen. All these he destroyed by himself, according to the authority he had received against me. The rest of my herds were confiscated by my fellow countrymen, who had been well treated by me, but who now rose up against me and took away the remainder of my animals. They reported to me the destruction of my goods, but I glorified God and did not blaspheme. Then the devil, when he had come to know my heart, laid a plot against me, disguising himself as the king of the Persians. He stood in my city, gathering together all the rogues in it, and with a boast he spake to them, saying, This man, Jobab, is the one who destroyed all the good things of the earth and left nothing, the one who distributed to the beggars, to the blind, and to the lame, yet the one who destroyed the temple of the great God and leveled the place of drink offerings. Therefore I shall also repay him according to what he did against the house of God. Come along then, and gather spoils for yourselves of all his animals and whatever he has left on the earth. They answered him and said, He has seven sons and three daughters. Possibly they might flee to other lands and plead against us, though we were tyrants, and in the end rise against us and kill us. So he then said to them, Have no fear at all. Most of his possessions I have already destroyed by fire. The others I confiscated. And as for his children, I shall slay them. When he said these things to them, he departed and smashed the house down upon my children and killed them. My fellow countrymen, when they saw that what was said truly happened, pursued and attacked me and began to snatch up everything in my house. My eyes witnessed cheap and worthless men at my tables and couches. I was unable to utter a thing, for I was exhausted, as a woman numbed in her pelvic region by the magnitude of birth pangs, remembering most of all the battle foretold by the Lord through his angel and the songs of victory which had been told to me. And I became as one wishing to enter a certain city to discover its wealth and gain a portion of its splendor. And as one embarked with cargo in a sea-going ship, seeing at mid-ocean the third wave and the opposite opposition of the wind, he threw the cargo into the sea, saying, I am willing to lose everything in order to enter this city, so that I might gain both the ship and things better than the payload. Thus, I also considered my goods as nothing compared to the city about which the angel spoke to me.